This is the great work of modernist architecture. It is the great collection of modern art in the region. To come into this cathedral to modern art is a huge privilege and it seemed to us as a team that our job was to show people what great modern architecture and great modern art can do. We want them to enjoy what they see and be moved by it. Last year was a really special year here at the Sainsbury Centre because the newly redeveloped gallery spaces opened. This was a huge exhibition, bigger than anything they'd done here before and really, really popular with people. So when I first came, you know, there was queues out the door to get in. What was especially moving was that one would occasionally go into the gallery and find people with tears in their eyes. We heard that some young man proposed in the exhibition and so we allowed him to have his wedding inside the exhibition. There are several themes which come through very powerfully. One is people. A very large number of our objects depict people and there's a sense of humanity in the collection. What the Sainsbury's were always interested in is this idea of things made often millennia apart. Um, by artists, some of whom we know their names, most of whom we don't, when placed together can do something extraordinary. When you come into this space, it's complicated and beautiful and there's no single path. The thing that makes this place unique is the fact that it's also a centre of learning. I came to East Anglia as a student in the late 1970s and I remember being absolutely knocked aside by the modernity of it. But you know something extraordinary? 35 years later, going back there, it's still shockingly new, it's still exciting, it still has that modernity that turns your head. It's a public space for everybody. It's where the whole community expresses itself. It's where we remember our past, it's where we are reminded who we are. For us, it was really about showing pride in art and pride in culture. So when we heard that we'd been shortlisted for Museum of the Year, we were completely thrilled. The work of this last year has really been to return as closely as we can to the original idea behind Robert and Lisa Sainsbury creating this place. So they believe that anything could be art no matter what kind of object it was, and that you should live amongst it. They believe that it came from all over the world and came in all shapes and sizes. The original idea of a pure art experience is very close to my heart, and I think that we intend to preserve it, and also Norman Foster's wonderful building, so that in a 100 years, you come here, it will feel the same. It will feel like the ultimate expression of modernity and world art.